Hello, and welcome to Rate That Character, a series where a member of the Source Gaming team gives their opinion on a character's chances at being playable Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. We lay out the pros and cons for each character and give a final score out of 100. Please do remember that these are our individual opinions and do not reflect Sakurai, Nintendo, or even the thoughts of Source Gaming as a whole. With that out of the way, my name is PhantomZ2, and let's see who today's character is. Daisy is a semi-recurring character in the Mario series. As she first debuted in Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, she has taken time off from the spotlight and has been regulated to spin-off series such as the Mario Sports titles and the Mario Kart series. But she does already have some representation by having a semi-alt costume in Smash, a variation of Peach taking heavy inspirations from the Princess of Sarasaland. So is it time for her to slam her way into Smash on her own? Let's take a look. Even if most of her appearances are in the spin-off games, she is a recurring Mario character nonetheless. Since she returned to Mario Tennis 64, Daisy has been part of every Nintendo Sports, Kart, and Party title except for the GBA Mario Kart and Party games. She has had numerous trophies throughout all of the Smash games, which does highlight her importance to the series. Considering that she's usually revealed pretty early for the Mario spin-off titles, it is fair to say that she is one of the more important Mario characters and this helps. Mario is such a big series and it gets so much merchandise that it's fair to say that characters like Daisy, Waluigi, and maybe even Birdo are more recognizable than some of the main characters of other Nintendo series like Rex, Pyra, or Chibi-Robo. However, Sakurai is not going to flood the roster with Mario characters. The most we've ever gotten was three in Melee, and that included one clone. Plus, the characters added were key figures in gaming history, being Nintendo's leading Lady Peach, and star villain Bowser. With only a limited amount of Mario characters possibly being added, even more if we do include the sub-series like DK, Wario, and Yoshi, Daisy has to compete with more likely characters like Captain Toad, Paper Mario, Dixie Kong, Ashley, or even Geno. Sakurai potentially has some real reservations about representing characters from side games in Smash. When you look at all the characters in Smash, they all play major roles in their core series. The one exception is Dr. Mario, who was a requested clone. With Waluigi, he stated, no matter how hard you try, it's still not enough. Waluigi is essentially in the same boat as Daisy. Even if Daisy carries slightly more gaming history with her, she has been bumped down to appearing only in side games. Then there are design issues. Unless she is given her sports outfit, her main attire and shape is too similar to Peach's. In Smash, if a character has a similar build, then they need to be at the most a semi-clone or they have the risk of confusing players. Sakurai talked about the importance of Sheila West in his GDC slides on Brawl from 2008. Lastly, if they did give Daisy a sports-based moveset, she would then have competition from Waluigi, who arguably fits the role better. Not only did he debut in a Mario Sports title, but his assist trophy in Smash shows us that this is how Sakurai views him. Considering he is likely more popular than Daisy as well, he is the obvious pick for this moveset. Honestly, with the lack of mainline Mario representation, I think an upgraded alt costume is the best fans can wish for. Unless Sakurai decides to open the floodgates for Mario characters, or unless she stars in another mainline title soon, Daisy as a fighter doesn't seem very likely. Thank you for watching today's Rate That Character. If you liked this video, then give us a like and share with your friends. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on today's character, and give us a suggestion for a future character you would like us to rate. I want to thank all our patrons, in particular, our super patron, the Duke of Dorks. A link to his channel can be found below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date and always remember to return to the source.